we're gonna go through the Grand Canyon and Primeval World. The Grand Canyon was built in 1958. It's a diorama, no audio animatronics. And the Primeval World was originally part of the Four Magic Skyway in the 1964-65 New York World's Fair. And <coughs> what do we go through before that? What's next? It's a small world. All right, let's change about to take off once again. Please remain seated. Our next stop is tomorrow night station. Okay, talk about tomorrow, uh, Small World. What's, what's going on there? It's a Small World holiday is what is currently in the It's a Small World. It's, it's normally just It's a Small World, but right now it's the holiday. And what year was a Small World built? It's a Small World was built for the 1964-65 World New York World's Fair. and Hello, everyone. Was built. Thanks for joining us and on the It was built in Disneyland in 1966, the same year the Prime Minister World. Stay seated. It was built in Disneyland. Okay. And legs inside the train. Take a look at it. And please watch your kids. And as you can see, they put it in the boats. Bienvenidos, amor. What? Aaron, why did they put new boats in? Because they had to make a new flume that was deeper to accommodate guests who were overweight. <laughs> overweight guests. Yeah. Okay, you stay right there, Aaron, so I can get you. Don't you want to look at that? Yeah, I am. Let's go. Oops, I can't remember the sky is the future. Well, I guess we all know that. What I mean to say is, we are getting into tomorrow now, where everything is possible. You look over there, and I catch a glimpse of a part time monorail. Mark 7. When Disneyland introduced the yeah. monorail back in 1959, they're Mark 7s the now, they replaced them just this year. The monorail system in the entire Western Hemisphere. Finding below us is the Ortopia, where drivers of all ages can get behind the wheel of a car, and no license is required. If you ever wanted to become an astronaut, then you might want to stop at Space Mountain and Star Tours, where they got some new primal flying space. Tell me about Autopia. Autopia was originally built for the park in July 17th, 1955. The, re the most recent renovation of it happened in 2000 when Chevron came in as a sponsor and, the Chev and now you ride Chevron cars like Dusty, Sparky, and Susie. For the rest of you, just sit tight. We'll be on our way again in just a minute. There you can get a view. What's that mountain? Tell me about that mountain over There's there. There's the Matterhorn, based off of the real Matterhorn in Zermatt, Switzerland. Um, the Matterhorn Mountain is... And there's more to Matterhorn. Um, Matterhorn Mountain was built for Disneyland in 1959. Notice how few holes there are right now in the Matterhorn. There used to be more holes than that. There used to be a whole bunch more on the way of holes in there. And what were the and holes for? And the holes, so you could see outside from the bomb sites. Okay. They are still there. And those holes right there were for the Skyway. Oh, okay. the holiday for? We've been taking a small detour right through the Grand Canyon. You're going to take pictures, and many of you might want to see them as well. Oh, this is taking us through the Grand Canyon? Yep. Please remain seated at all times. Even in all hands, our place will be. Thank you. Now, did Walt get to see the Grand Canyon diorama? Yes, he did. Was that his plan to do that? Yes, it probably was. Since it opened in the 50s, he died in the 66. He did, however, get to see it as a small world, but not Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay. Yeah, he actually wrote it's a small world at Disneyland in California. Yeah. There's a Mark 7. There's two yeah. of them. Two of them. Blue and red. Orange is coming soon. Uh, uh. Maybe we'll get a shot of it as it comes over here. There's the old people mover rocket rods track right there. People Mover opened in 1967 after Walt's death, and the Rocket Rod closed in 1995 to make way for Rocket Rods, which was open from 1999 to 2000.
guess it broke down. If it wouldn't have broken down, it would probably still be so much. It would probably still be out there. It's that. It's the little bananas. And a little bit more. What are the other favorite attractions in Tomorrowland? Tomorrowland, Space Mountain, Autopia, Buzz Lightyear, Astral Blasters, Interventions, and the Interventions Hope. Dream home, no, not dream home. And I mentioned home of the future. What about Star Tours? And Star Tours is the most familiar attraction that opened in 1987. And what? To those joining us, welcome aboard. The next leg of our journey will take us along the rim of the Grand Canyon. It's a mighty long right, drop to the go. canyon floor. So for your safety, stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. Be sure to watch your kids and no flash pictures, please. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren y cuide a los pequeños. Por favor, no tome fotografías con flash. Tell me the other trains. The other trains are the CK Holiday, which was also built for Disneyland in the 1950s. We'll be on our way again in just a few and the this is Fred Gurley, I don't know when, it's, well, it's one of the older trains. It's a, I think it's a Baldwin. I think the other three are Baldwins, the Fred Gurley, Ursus Marsh, and Ward Kimball. Okay, so that's three of them. What are the other two? E.P. Ripley and CK Holiday. Okay. Fantastic. Three trains we purchased that actually used to be used in the early 1900s. Yes. Well, three engines. Oh, okay. The Ernest. Marsh. 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 Marsh.
They have a studio tour you can do. was incepted at Disneyland in 1958, 50 years ago, to be exact. Uh, 1959, Ernest March came to Disneyland, and in 2005, Ward Kimball was put on the Disneyland train tracks. Okay. Um, Adventureland in New Orleans Square, we're going to pass above the Indiana Jones Adventure yeah. queue, and through the tunnel, which is the Pirates of the Caribbean shovel, and then we're going to make a stop at the Square, and we're going to exit the train. Oh, the train's in motion. Please seat all smaller children. Close these stairs on the way from vehicle opening. Next stop, Northern Square. Take a seat, please. We're heading in New Orleans Square. What's your favorite attraction in New Orleans Square? Pirates of the Caribbean and How I Mansion Tots. <laughs> what year They're was, both my favorite. What year was Pirates of the Caribbean built? 1967, the year after Walt Disney died. Okay. And How I Mansion opened in 1969. Okay. Which next year will be 40. So. All right. Big 4-0 means... I guess black balloons. <laughs> or if they will have big black balloons for exporting them. Hey, Jackson, you ready right for the animals? Why is she a monkey? Hello, folks. Will this type of you? Is there a gunshot in here? Yeah, I, I guess the guns are on right, right now in the Jungle Cruise, so oh, okay. cover your ears. What was that? Tell me about the Jungle Cruise. When was it built? It was built for the park, and it opened in 1955 with the park, July 17th. It was one of the original attractions. It has been cut down in size with the addition of Indiana Jones Adventure. Okay. And there's the Indiana Jones Adventure shoveling behind us. And we are pressing into the queue right now. Okay. Alright, so this is going to be your stop for Splash Round in the Holly Mansion, Big Thunder Mountain, Pirates of the Caribbean, Indiana Jones, and a bunch of 